Hello everyone, we're going to do Q6 challenges now. I started the challenge, uh, the Q6 by popularity. Let's do the challenge that I didn't solve. So those checked are already solved. Mm, okay, find the unique number. There is an array with some numbers. All numbers are equal except for one. Okay, are equal except for one. Try to find it. Really? It's guaranteed that an array contains at least three numbers. Okay, the test contains some very huge array. Okay, some, te some tests, okay. So think about performance. Ah, okay. This is the first kata in, in series, find the unique number, and then find the unique string, find, find the unique. Okay, I'm going to find it. They contain some very hu huge arrays, so think about performance. So what, what we want to do is once we find that number, we have to get out. Let's try it. Oh, not C-sharp. Python. Okay. So, what we are going to do. For I int R. Okay. Okay. We just need to check the, the three indexes to get the rejected number, and then we just need to look to find the not rejected one. Let's see how other people solved it. Ah, oh, with a set. Ah, most common. F 
a0 not equal to, to a1 if the first index is not equal to the second index so we're going to do we're going to check if a0 the first index not equal to the second index so the f f uh, the truth the true one is the first one is the second one Okay, split string. Complete the solution so that it splits the string into pairs of two characters. If the string contains an odd number of characters, then it should replace the missing second character of the final pair with an underscore. Complete the solution so that it splits the string into pairs of two characters, okay? If the string contains an odd number or character characters that then it should replace the second character of the final pair with an underscore. Okay, let's see an example A B C. Okay, it misses. And here we have pair, a pair and a pair. Okay. If the string contains an odd number, an odd number, oh, okay, it means three odd number of characters, then it should, okay. First, we're going to add the underscore. If, yeah, if, it, if it's odd, we need to add the underscore because I'm going to create a for loop that go in. That takes two steps, yeah. So if the length of S module module one or module two not equal to zero, then we're going to do S plus equal the underscore. Not underscores, okay. And then here for I in uh, S, you know, we need the range. Uh, range, and then the length, and then S. zero to that to that one and by two steps and we need to create a list so I want to take the e the i now here I take start from i and then take everything no i want to say does it exist what's going to be the result If I say a is equal to and zero and one, it's going to be the result. Oh, a only one. Okay, so I need to specify zero in index zero until two. Okay. Okay. So we're here two. And then we're going to return the L as tested. Okay, let's submit it.
Okay, let's find another one. Find the missing letter. Find the missing letter. Okay. Write a method that takes an array of consecutive increasing letters as input and find... Wait, 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 wait. Write a method that takes an array of consecutive increasing letters as input and then returns the missing letter in the array you will always get an, a, a valid uh, array and it will be always exactly one letter be missing the length of the array will always be at least two the length of the array will always be at least two the array will always contain letters in only one case okay what's the missing letter a b c d e q okay consecutive letters okay Use, it, use the alphabet. Okay, have fun coding it. Please don't forget to vote and rank this cat. I have also created uh, other katas. Take a look and enjoy. Okay. Consecutive letter. Import string. Yeah, string ASCII dot lower. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to convert them all. Import. Characters. First, characters are, are going to be characters dot lower. First, we're going to loop for i in cars, and then here I'm going to try. I find the the e first in the string dot lower case. So. So here, alpha. Ask Hilo why it's not working. Ah. We don't need parenthesis. Oh no. I did a mistake. Okay, now if uh, find the index. And convert it into a list. So Alpha. I prefer alpha. Dot index i. Okay, I think I'm searching for the index now. I had to check, you know. Okay. 
Fuck it, two again. For I in cars, okay. Once we find it, let us start it. In the ah, oh, not. Yeah, let's call it index. And now I got the index. And then if if I is equal to alpha index. No, not equal trying to find the missing one. Return I. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here we put them in our case. This is the alpha. And now I'm getting the first index. Okay. Okay, first one. Hmm. I, I think I should do the opposite. I will take this and put it here. The index of cars. First index of cars. Okay, we get the index. What I'm doing? We want to get the first index of the letter here. So what should we do? Okay. Characters dot index and here for zero first index. And then we got the index of the first character. And here I'm going to check if I is equal to to be the uh, at the, at this index alpha index which is going to be the first one is going to be true but then I'm going to to do index plus equal to to one and that's going to do to check if the i is equal to at alpha alpha index if it's not going okay I think it should work no What's the problem? Import. Yeah, import string. Line four. Not lower. Charts, not charts, charts. Cars, not because test it again list object has no attribute lower list object has not no attribute lower it's a list okay not a problem remove it I dot lower. Let's test it. Value zero is not in a list. I'm searching for the index. Oh. I'm searching. Here we put the. Here comes zero. This is the letter. dot index alpha dot index okay this should work no zero is not yeah cars cars okay this is the first index for example this one which is a I am saying that I want to access the first index what's going on why it's not working five Line 5 in missing letter index alpha dot index cause 0 value error 0 is not in list 0 or O F should equal to E I think it's not 0 this is an O the O O is not in list and here when there is an O alpha dot index, 
Oh yeah, because uh, I said yeah lower, so we have to convert it into a lower dot lower. Let's see if it works. Int what? This is zero or this is O. I should. I think I should put it here. Yeah. F should equal to E, Q should equal to P. Okay, we get the index. And here, if I dot lower not equal to alpha dot index, if it's not equal, if this one isn't equal to this one, so I'm going to return the I, but first one is going to, to be equal. Okay, first one is going to be equal. The second one it's going to be equal also I think no no first one is not going to be equal F should equal to E so why we are getting F which is the last one ah we shouldn't return the I I should return the alpha X because it's not in the cars okay we've passed the first one P should equal to P R P I Hmm. Okay, I shouldn't convert. Okay, there's a conversion problem here. How to check if it's uppercase or lowercase? What? Okay. how other people solved it hmm built tower Hello everyone, let's continue with build tower. Hmm, so according to the name, I'm going to build a tower. So, build a pyramid shaped tower as an array list or strings. As an array, li as an array list or of strings. Okay, given a positive integer, number of flaws. Okay, so the positive integer is the number of flaws. A tower block is represented with asterisk. A tower block, okay. For example, a tower with three floors looks like this. Hmm. Okay. And a tower with six floors looks like this. Okay. So here, let's create a variable called star. And 
add a another variable called list to store the result looks that we always add two asterisk so for i in range the number of floors let's print i and here a uh, star plus equal two asterisks Can I see the result? A print print l you know instead i l dot append and add star star without the t. Let's see the result. T I said okay yeah, it's working so now I just need to add the the spaces so the total space depends on the last uh, the last row hmm So here, I'm going to use an F string. Space. No. I need three curly braces. This one's going to be the uh, star. And this one's going to be the space. Multiply by. Let's create a variable called it x. It's gonna be the same, the same here. Here, I'm gonna go ahead, gonna check a condition. So, number of floors minus the length of number of floors, the length of star. Okay, let's say here we have six and here it has seven, so we get a negative. Okay, let's try by two, two rows. So two minus one. So we are going to add one. Okay, let's say we have two now. Two minus two got zero. Okay, let's try by this and here if x is less than zero, we're going to say the x is equal to zero. This means that we have reached the last row and else this means we are not in the last row. Let's say no, we don't need the x uh, the else. Let's test it. What's going on? Syntax events and perhaps you forgot a comma. You know, already printing here. Print. Oh.
the curly braces should be outside. I mean, I mean the the quotation coats. Okay, one second, and there you have an extra one here. Name star doesn't exist. Where is the the T? I keep forgetting that the star without the T. No, should equal okay. Going to append this L dot append Yeah append and I should return it now. Return L Oh two two cases correct, okay. What's going on so here? And then the second, we need this another space. Okay, we need an extra space. You know, this is index zero. This is index one. So let's say we add an index i here, which is gonna be one. Okay, let's do a temp. Okay. Let's call it result. Let's say the x last floor. No, no, not last floor. Let's call it space because we are calculating the space there. Let's check it again. Okay, submit. And let's see other people how they solved it. Wow, one liner. It begins by one, okay, the I. Multiply two minus one. Yeah, it keeps adding two asterisks dot center. Hmm. Number of flaws minus one, and he began by index by one. Let's say three number of flaws, and it, it begins by one. So this means that we have three spaces here, and three spaces here, three spaces really minus one. So okay, three minus one is two. Two. So we have two spaces here and two spaces here. Just right at the beginning, really? Okay. OK. 
countless smiley faces. Okay, I will continue another time. I'm tired. <laughs>